Ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. Hey kids! So it's another edition of American Football Friday. Uh, so a couple things I want to talk about. Um, you know, we're we're gonna get into the teams uh, and within a team. So the Seahawks. Let's just say the Seahawks, for example. They have different teams within the team. If that if that makes any kind of sense. So you have an offensive team. And then you have a defensive team, and then you have special teams. And it's rare that somebody plays on offense and defense, in the pros anyway. When you're in high school, it's pretty common. You'll have players that play both ways. So they'll play offense, and they'll also play defense, and they'll a lot of times they'll play special teams just because they need the personnel to do that. But when you get up into the higher levels, they're really focused and specialized on their position. So you don't see Russell Wilson playing defense. He only plays offense, right? So he's only on the field when his team is on the offense. So we're going to walk through the offense. I was going to do multiple, uh, I was going to talk about all these different teams, but I thought, you know, it's going to be a long video. So we're just going to focus on the offense. Okay. So we're going to walk through that. A couple things too. I wanted to talk about my undershirt last time. So just want to clarify. I'm old enough uh, that the Seahawks didn't exist when I was a kid. I know, I know that's old, I, I get it. But um, anyway, so the Seahawks weren't even a thing when I was a kid. And so my favorite team was the Steelers. And out of loyalty to the Steelers, I also like the Steelers. And you might consider that blasphemy as a Steelers fan because of the Super Bowl a few years ago where it didn't go well. And honestly, from a Steelers Seahawks fan, uh, yeah, it just wasn't fun for, for anybody. I didn't like it either. So uh, anyway, just wanted to clarify on that so you understand the, the why I had a Steelers shirt underneath my Seahawks shirt. So uh, so first, I do have a dad joke for you, and this actually came from one of you. One of you said this uh, early on after I talked about the skeleton. Um, this is also a good skeleton joke of how come the, skele ske how come the skeleton couldn't play football? He had no body to play with. Ah, so anyway, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to get into this. So hopefully you uh, will have been more knowledgeable and not more confused. It's, a, you know, there's a lot to learn here. So hang with me. And I'm trying to break this down as basic as I can. Uh, so on offense, there are 11 players. Okay, and on defense, there are 11 players trying to stop those 11 players on offense. Okay, um, and you've heard the term X's and O's. Um, o stands for offensive players. So you see this, there's a bunch of O's here. These are all positions, okay, on the offense. And then next time we're gonna do the defense and I'll do X's for those, because it's X's and O's, right? Uh, so we'll just kind of walk through what these are. So you have 11 players uh, on each side that are playing, and again, there's basically three separate teams. You've got an offense, you've got a defense, and you've got special teams. And you'll never see Russell Wilson playing defense. He's on offense. Occasionally, there's rare times where you have these incredible athletes that'll play defense, like Deion Sanders. He played some offense too. He played defense and he played offense. But in the pros, that's pretty rare. Uh, okay, so if you can kind of think of the Seahawks, let's just use the Seahawks for example. They're kind of got separate teams. They've got an offense, they've got a defense, and they've got the special teams. And a lot of times, guys that are on defense will also play special teams too, but you don't want to get your, your best guys hurt. So it's usually kind of the reserve players that um, play on special teams, usually. Uh, besides maybe um, a great wide receiver or running back can receive a kick, on, and that's on special teams, on the kickoff and on punts. That's when special teams comes out. Okay, so let's just talk about offense now. I'll talk about <laughs> special teams in the next one after the next one, okay? So uh, this might be a little longer than five minutes just because there's a lot to cover and I want to give you enough information uh, to make you dangerous, okay? Uh, so anyway, so let's just work our way through here and let's start on the inside here, okay? This is called your offensive line. And you have a tackle, a guard, a center, a guard, and a tackle. And you have a left tackle, a left guard, because it's left of the center, okay? And then you have the center, and then you have the right guard, the right tackle, and then you have a tight end, okay? 
he's an end, which he can, he can actually catch the ball. He's eligible to catch the ball. And in my particular formation, there's lots of different formations, but we're starting with the basics, okay? So in my formation, he's on the right side. He can also go over to the other side and be on the left side, depending on the play that they call, right? He can be over here. And he, a tight end is a good blocker too, usually. They can block or they can, uh, they can go out for a pass, okay? So, um, and then you got your two wide receivers. They're wide receivers because they're split out from these guys that are bunched up here on the offensive line. Okay, so you got a wide receiver and he can be called a split end because he's split off, he's an end and he, and he can catch the ball. So he can catch the ball, the tight end can catch the ball, the wide receiver can catch the ball. These guys can't, they're all ineligible receivers. So if you ever see a uh, somebody um, trying to throw a ball and you see these guys running around, why doesn't he throw it to him? It, you can't, right? They're ineligible. These guys are eligible. This guy, this guy, this guy, and these two guys, which are called running backs. They can also be called halfbacks, fullbacks, depending on, yeah, depending on who and what their specialty is. Most of us just call them running backs just because it's easy, okay? And then you got a quarterback, and quarterback's kind of the glamour position. Uh, you know, everybody knows who Russell Wilson is and who uh, Tom Brady is, right? Because they play the glamour position because they touch the ball every time, right? Every down, they're touching the ball. And then they do something with it. They either hand it off to a running back, these guys back here, and then they run with it, or they, they take it and they run with it themselves, or they take it and they throw it to this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, or this guy. Any one of those guys they can throw it to. Okay, uh, I think that's all I really wanted to cover. Um, yeah, I think let's just leave it at that to try to keep this fairly, fairly tight for you. But yeah, so if you can just picture, these guys are going from left to right in this particular scenario. This is a real basic formation. Um, and when they were in the huddle where they're all grouped together, they called a play and that based on whatever they called in the play, they come out here and they know what they're supposed to do, right? With that particular play and with this particular formation. And so part of the play calling tells them how to line up when they come out of the huddle. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you and we'll cover defense next time. Thanks for watching and God bless you.